Here we go at 112 pounds here in the Division I state finals. We have Mitch Newhouse from Maslin Perry, a 26 and 2 sophomore, taking on Corey Mines, a excuse me, a 39 and 2 senior. Mines won a semifinal 4-3 to make it here. To Saturday night in Columbus. Newhouse, Newhouse wins in overtime 6 4. BJ Miller. To extend Maslin Perry's state finalist streak 10 years in a row. Behind. Mines is the decided favorite here. Mines in the white, white singlet of Maple Heights with the maroon trim. The new house will be in the white of Maslin Perry with yet gold trim and the black P on his back. And with a 40-2 record, a three-time state placer, a returning state champion from Maple As they just announced, Mines is the defending champ here, won at 103 last year. And with that, we get going. We double their attempt by Mines to start. Try and give you the test. Right. Good low shot there by Mines. He converts for two, takes a 2 nothing lead, 20 seconds in. Newhouse trying to work up from bottom and does. Gets to his feet, gets hand control. But Mines tries to drop low. Might see a stall call here soon as he's not taking him back to the mat. There it is. Back to the mat for Attila. He gets one, gets a two count. He's got back points coming. As the full three coming for Mines. As they go out of bounds. I'm sorry, only a two count. Only two, just the four count. So a four nothing lead for Corey Mines here. 59 seconds to go in the first period. Back points in a state final are huge. To score points without potentially giving any up on the other side. Really can blow matches wide open. His mind's just trying to tilt again. He's got the wrist trapped. If he can just create a little momentum and get Newhouse over, score big points again. And here it is. A good tilt. He's getting counts. He'll score again. Newhouse gets up to his feet, Mines still in control, returns him back to the mat, he'll get two, two back, so now a 6-0 lead for Corey Mines, and he has looked dominant here so far in the first. 18 seconds to go. Mines trying to, his coaches are screaming, trap the wrist again, see if he can score again. Newhouse doing everything he can to keep his wrist out from under him, because he knows he's going over for another two. And we'll run out of time in the second. Corey Mines a commanding 6 0 lead over Mitch Newhouse after one. Mines wins the toss, defers to the third. Newhouse will go back to his feet. I think wants no part of being underneath Mines again. Newhouse scored a gutty win over Edgar Bright of St. Ed's in his semifinal. Got banged for stalling pretty much as time expired to tie it. Then hit a high crotch shot pretty quickly into overtime to punch his ticket here. Saw Newhouse ranked as low as 11th in some of the Ohio polls I checked out before this. So he has had a fantastic tournament to get this far, but he is an uphill battle the rest of the way as he trails 6 0, now 30 seconds into the second period, on defending state champion Corey Mines. Mines shoots from way, way far out. Newhouse sprawls back. Mines has control in this tie. Looking to create an angle from both. Newhouse tries to shoot through an underhook. Mines tries to circle through. Now under a minute to go in the second, still 6-0 Mines. Yeah. 
this so far is mine's biggest lead of the tournament as he's won 4-3, 3-1, and 5-1. But he's putting on a show here in state finals. They go out of bounds, 37 seconds to go. Newhouse tries to drop levels off the, off the whistle. Mine's having none of that. You'll need to check out the 112 final in, in Division Two to see that one. Also available at FlowWrestling.com. Five seconds here to go in an uneventful second period. And Mines will take a 6-0 lead into the third. Argument with his coach, what he's going to take. He'll go underneath. Probably a smart move, though. He seemed to turn Newhouse at will in the first. We'll see what Newhouse has on top. Caution. Caution on the bottom on mine. Newhouse has a ton of ground to make up if he wants to win it. Get another caution. So that's two cautions on mine. Like I said, Newhouse has a ton of ground to make up. He's going to need back points or a big five-pointer from his feet if he wants to win this one. Not a lot mine can do from bottom right here. He's getting a good ride from Newhouse. Trying to struggle to his feet. Newhouse riding his hips hard. Can't really go anywhere. But all he's doing is burning clock on himself as he still trails 6 0 with 30 seconds to go. Mines now sits out, gets to his feet. Newhouse returns him. And we'll go out of bounds. Minute 14 to go in the third period here to your 112 pound state final. Corey Mines leads Mitch Newhouse 6 0. Mines has to watch the whistle right here as he has two cautions. And Newhouse has to think he's got to turn him for something big if he wants to win a state final here. Now one minute to go here in the 112 pound state final. Mines finally gets to his feet, but he's quickly returned. Newhouse has rode great here in the third period. Now, under 40 seconds to go. Corey Mines, huge 6 0 lead. Newhouse trying to work a Turk here. We'll get a stalemate. Now, 32 seconds to go. Getting a... Newhouse is now going to cut out, or Newhouse is going to go optional start. Looks like his coaches are signaling for the jump. Jump back on, try to cradle. That's really his one shot now as we're under 30 seconds. His hands are getting close. We'll get a stalling red on bottom. But Mines escapes to extend his lead to 7-0. And Newhouse is going to need to throw him to his back to win. 15 seconds to go. Newhouse trying to force the action. Mines trying to just avoid the home run. 11 seconds to go here. <laughs> the Maple Heights folks are screaming, just stay away but from behind me. Newhouse tries to lat drop, but they'll go out of bounds. Two seconds to go. Corey Mines is going to be your 112 pound state champion. Two, one. And Corey Mines repeats and will win his second state title here in Ohio. Finishing the year at 41 and 2. As we present him to all four sides. Heck of a career for Mines. Kind of it. You love to see the smile on a young man's face after he wins his title, gets a hug from his coaches. The moments that make sport great.